House Speaker Nancy Pelosi and other House Democrats are laying out plans for impeaching President Donald Trump again after Wednesday's crisis at the Capitol. CBS 2's Tom Hansen explains what's next. Hello, Patriots. Heavily armed supporters of President Trump gathered in Minneapolis Saturday for a Stop the Steal protest. We want Donald Trump to resign. While anti Trump demonstrators rallied in front of Chicago's Trump Tower, in New York's Times Square, and in a handful of other cities. As Washington, D.C. prepares for President elect Joe Biden's January 20th inauguration, security is being tightened around the city. With less than two weeks before President Trump leaves the White House, congressional Democrats are preparing to bring articles of impeachment against him as early as Monday. It was an act of sedition that was incited and encouraged by Donald Trump. And that's why he must be held accountable to the full extent of the law. House Speaker Nancy Pelosi spoke to Leslie Stahl for this Sunday's 60 Minutes. Sadly, the person who's running the executive branch is a deranged, unhinged, dangerous President of the United States. The draft article of impeachment, incitement of insurrection, alleges President Trump's conduct on Wednesday gravely endangered the security of the United States. He would be the first president to be impeached twice, but some Republicans believe there just isn't enough time. I've got enough decisions to make about things that can happen rather than to spend time on things that can't happen. The Justice Department continues to pursue charges in connection with the assault on the Capitol. That includes Adam Johnson of Florida, allegedly seen carrying Speaker Pelosi's lectern during the rampage, and Jacob Anthony Chansley, believed to be this shirtless man wearing horns, a bearskin headdress, and face paint, was also arrested. Tom Hansen, CBS News. Alaska's Lisa Murkowski became the first GOP senator to call for President Trump to resign.